great. Now I know what it takes. I'm putting a new face on the old one. Ready for anything. Playing with fate. Not a moment too late. Showing the whole world. the holiday season. Last night, I helped Officer Greenblatt trim his Hanukkah bush. <laughs> we decorated it with all these cute little matzo balls. <laughs> Listen, if anybody wants any mistletoe, I'm gonna put it right over here, huh? Okay, okay. Simpson. Ta-da! Some Christmas cookies for Santa's little heifers. Ooh. Now, how do you expect us to trim this tree? There isn't enough tinsel, a bunch of the ornaments are broken, and that tree is much too full. You know, Katie, for a little helper, you got a big mouth. <laughs> Aunt Mel, I know I'm sick, but may I lie down on the couch and watch you trim the tree? No, get back upstairs. That's the Christmas spirit, Mel. <laughs> of course you can come down, Joey. Aha! Did you see him run? A sick little boy couldn't run. You know, Joey, you're faking it because you don't want to go shopping with me. I am not. Oh. You are too faking it. Nobody that sick could moan that loud. Hey, everybody, look what Jonathan sent me for Christmas. Julie, you shouldn't have opened that yet. Christmas isn't for three days. I know, but it's our first Christmas as husband and wife, and I was anxious. What is it, honey? You'd never guess. <laughs> well, call me crazy, but that was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> When you're on an archaeological dig in the Yucatan, I imagine shopping is limited. Speaking of shopping, I'm sick of your faking, boy. Get upstairs and get dressed. What makes you so sure he's faking? Because he's a con artist. No, that's a terrible thing to call him. Listen to Addie. Oh, please, Addie, you weren't here when we met this little boy. You talk about your slick little seven-year-olds. He even had the chief fooled. Yes? Well, hello down there. Hi. What can I do for you? I'm collecting for Jerry's kids. Oh, girls, come in. I think I'm in oh, love. Isn't he adorable? Anything you can give. A dime, a quarter, anything. <laughs> I'll, I'll, money money money. Money. I'll get my purse out the kitchen. <laughs> hey, did anyone ever tell you that you have Carol Channing's hairdo? <laughs> Here you go, cutie. Here, this is all Here I can find. I'm sorry, I wish it could be more. Just let you see this angel cheese. Take a look at that. You kid. Yeah, I see him. Kid, aren't you a little young to be out collecting money by yourself? <laughs> Couldn't you leave me at least one licorice drop? <laughs> Where do you live? On the other side of town. Honey, you walked all the way over here from the other side of town by yourself? Yes, ma'am. You see... Oh, what? Hey, come on, sit down. What is it, honey? No, it's nothing. You can tell your aunt now. <laughs> your little three-year-old brother? Mm -hmm. He's really one of Jerry's kids. Oh. And it's like I'm collecting for him. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and I was only going to give you a dollar. Here, baby, make it, uh, make it five. Okay. He's really sick. Okay. <laughs> Make it ten. He thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here's a ten. Just so you know, the police chief isn't cheap. We gotta go. Hey, what's your hurry? Hey. My kid brother's waiting for me. And I want to be there if he suddenly, you know. Oh. Oh. I know. Oh, my God, that poor kid. You know, Chief, this just makes you realize how lucky we are, you know? Look, everybody, I'm sorry if I was a little rough on you when I came home. Okay, Dad. I love you, Kate. I love you, too. I love you, Joe. I love you. I love you, Samantha. Look, I'm going to get rid of whoever that is at the door so we can go back to loving each other. I, I caught the bunco artist, Chief. He's been using some phony story about Jerry's kids. You dirty crook. <laughs> Come on, this, this run? I don't believe that. Honest, the kid's a real pro. You know how many jerks in this neighborhood are giving him a lot of money? <laughs> but that was two years ago now. Joey's a different boy now. Listen to Addie. <laughs> Yes, we'll accept the charges. <laughs> Hiya, Jonathan. Merry Christmas. Did, did Julie get the turquoise earrings I sent her? Earrings? Uh, maybe you should talk to Julie. <laughs> Julie, it's Jonathan! Bye, Jonathan. Merry Christmas. Here's Julie. Thanks. Hi, Jonathan. We miss you. And I miss you and our little soon-to-be. Hey, hey, silencio on the fiesta in there. I'm on the telephono. <laughs> gift it's beautiful i wanted to get you something that no other woman in glenlawn had you were overwhelmingly successful w when i saw your gift it just screamed your name i screamed a little too <laughs> and, and julie neither one was damaged in the mail were they jonathan there was only one one oh no they're useless if you don't have two of them <laughs> I'd love another. Jeez, I, I know I packed both earrings together. Earrings? Jonathan, I've got the skull of a very old man. Oh. Oh, no, I must have gotten the packages mixed up. Julie, right now, the curator of the Museum of Natural History is wearing turquoise earrings. <laughs> well, we'll get it straightened out. I love you. And I love you. And Julie? This is the last Christmas the three of us will ever spend apart. Merry Christmas, Mr. Maxwell. Feliz Navidad, Senora Maxwell. Joey, you have exactly two minutes to get your butt upstairs and get dressed. Oh, Nell, be nice to the boy, huh? Where's your Christmas spirit? Listen to Simpson. <laughs> well, it is the holiday season, and holidays do bring out the best in me. <laughs> Not all holidays. Let's not forget last Valentine's Day. Uh, <laughs> let me jog your memory. You were in one of your advice to the lovelorn uh, moods, and we all had Grandpa, dates. Had dates. That's a good term. We never that. had a date. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know it's still Valentine's Day. Hey, you know what I did? I played Cupid. Uh huh. I made six couples very happy tonight. Oh, you ruined everything, Nell. Everything. Make that five. I'll talk to you later, lover. <laughs> Samantha! What Tell is it, him baby? the truth you said. Tell Danny I'm too young to neck. Well, he respects you, doesn't he? Yeah, he said he respects me more than he respects any girl he's ever met in his life. And he never wants to see me again. Oh, Samantha, baby. Julie, why are you coming in the back door? Because without my glasses, I couldn't find the front door. <laughs> What's wrong, Julie? Who are you? <laughs> Oh, you and your advice, Mel! I'll be right back. Gilby! Honey, what's the matter? What? Leonard hates me. I couldn't see without my glasses, and I kept kissing his brother. <laughs> was his brother any good? <laughs> Katie, you and your advice, Nell! I spent the entire evening trying to get Rick 
to mold me. And you know what? He likes his girls already molded. <laughs> Double date, Nelson. It'll take the pressure off, Nelson. So I double date my girl dances all night with Sergeant Gillespie. Um, here, babies. Have some of my Valentine. Oh, have. Have a candy. Jeez! Oh, please let that be the Avon lady. Yeah, make the first move. Well, I made the first move, and you know what? He called me a... He called me a tramp. Worse. He called me a cab. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can guess why you're here, Raddy. Come on in the kitchen. We're forming a lynch mob. <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa? Now, you got a lot to learn about black people. <laughs> She didn't like the chain with the cross on it. She's Jewish. <laughs> so I'm not so good at Valentine's, but I'm great at Christmas. I'm Joey. Well, now, leave the boy alone. He's got a sick stomach. Listen to Grandpa. All right, Joey, but I just don't want you to ruin Christmas for all of us. How would I do that? Well, if you don't get off the couch, I'm going to fill your Christmas stocking with Pepto Bismol. Oh. <laughs> now, there is only one person who is going to ruin Christmas for all of us, and that's you. Oh, yeah? Well, Addie, I have more Christmas spirit in my little finger than you got in that whole flat body of yours. <laughs> Yeah. But would you like for me to tell everyone about last Christmas at my apartment? Yeah. yeah I didn't I didn't hear about that. Good. Nell had the nerve to invite my new neighbor over to Christmas dinner. Oh, my Anna, get out of here. That's not true. She's a nice. I'm so sorry I invited you here. You're sorry? Huh. Do you know why I'm here? They call it pity. I am the only friend you have ever had. Listen, Nell. I have lost friends because they knew I knew you. <laughs> Listen, Anna Lake Wilson, I have been your best friend since we were nine years old, and I didn't like you then, and I don't like you now. You are a kleptomaniac. You stole my Crayolas. <laughs> well, wait till you see what I'm stealing this Christmas. You know what, Anna Lake Wilson? I don't need you. I don't need your friendship. I don't need your stupid oh. Christmas gift. And... Oh, oh, what? <gasps> Most of all, I don't need you. Threw a Christmas tree out the window. Oh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Look, peace on earth, goodwill to nail. Hey, you know, the lights is all connected. I'm gonna chain on oh, the tree. Oh, good. Oh, oh, wow. oh, that's great. Oh. Now that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs> you know, the last thing I want to do is to fight with my family. <laughs> Since when? <laughs> Look, you're not a member of this family. I can fight with you any time I want to. <laughs> well, have you forgotten how you fought with Loretta when we went back to Alabama for her wedding? Wait, are you trying to say that I don't get along with my sister Loretta? <laughs> well... But don't you remember all the fun times we had, you know, when we live in the past? Yeah, I guess Come so. Come on, you remember she got out this, these old tapes oh, and we started so listening funny. to it. She you thought she was cute. She's always <laughs> The two of you are not going to believe what I found in the attic. She's been up there again. She's always what been she strange. Be quiet. <laughs> Girl, is that our old tape recorder? Mm hmm. And the old tape is still on it. Listen. Shut up. <laughs> you believe it? Oh, girl, take me back to the 60s. You know, remember, we were going to be the best girl trio ever. We were ahead at senior prom. Oh, do you remember how we used to rehearse to this day? Oh, yeah. Do I? Oh. We were going to be bigger than the Shirelles, the Crystals, oh. the Ronettes. Oh, I always dreamed we'd be the Supremes. Oh, I had that dream. No, 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 no. That was my dream, because I was going to be Diana Ross. <laughs>
Thanks for reminding me of that. It was a beautiful wedding. Yeah. Aunt Nell, why don't you tell them how you hit your sister Loretta over the head with her wedding bouquet? <laughs> I thought you had a stomachache, boy. <laughs> oh, Nell, browbeating Joey is not gonna get him off the couch. Oh, well, I guess you think you know more about raising children than me. Yes, a lot more. <laughs> I guess you think you know more about everything than I do, don't you? Well, why don't you hang your Phi Beta Kappa key and yourself on the tree? Now, I am not trying to get into an intellectual discussion. Oh, no, of course not. Not with Dom Monell. <laughs> now you're overreacting. Oh, no, honey. You've been putting me down since the moment you walked in that door two years ago. That's not true. Oh, come on, Addie. I remember it like it was yesterday. Wait, you... Wait till Nell finds out that her old friend from Alabama is a Phi Beta Kappa. That's really special. <laughs> Thank you, but it's not that special. I'm only one of thousands of today's black women who are out there making it. It wasn't easy, but thank God we finally put to rest that old stereotypical image of the black woman as nothing but an Aunt Jemima. Oh, <laughs> no. Towards me. Why? I'll tell you why. I haven't seen you in over 15 years. You walk in here, the first thing you tell me, I am an uneducated housekeeper. I did. And then you go so close to me, I am a failure as a modern black woman. No. I was a happy black woman, so you broke your modern black butt in the house. <laughs> You should 
didn't think of yourself as a failure. A what? And I wanted to be like you. Look at all those books. I've read so many books, I can't even count them. I read War and Peace. Well, not all of it, but I read it. Hell. I read Hemingway, Faulkner, Alex Haley. I read all of it. Hell. All of it. Peace. I even read Sidney Sheldon. <laughs> I have always felt inferior to you. I still feel inferior That's to you. The Bible. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Now, you, sh you still have the book of poetry that I sent you. I happen to like the book in spite of your inscription. What? What was wrong with the inscription? I'm surprised it got through the mail. What are you talking about? Look, I don't mind you calling me black because you're black, too. But you have no right to call me illegitimate. Let me see that. That's Blockbuster. <laughs> L4, 5, 8, a cap, girl, you got lousy handwriting. Oh, no. Even when we're fighting, we have more fun than anybody. That's the truth. <laughs> you know, all this reminiscing is making me hungry. Me too. I'll make us a snack. Ooh, good idea. I'll make some coffee. I'll make some more popcorn. I ate most of it. <laughs> Joey, I'm sorry I doubted you. Do I want to come over here? Please? Ain't no. Mm hmm? I don't have a stomach ache. Well, I knew you were faking it. Yeah, but there's a good reason for it. Okay, back to your story. Well, you see, yesterday I put the money I saved up to buy you a Christmas gift on the bag on my bike, but there was a hole in the bag. And when I got downtown, all the money had fallen out along the way. Oh. You see, I figured if you thought I was sick, you wouldn't expect me to go out and buy you a present. Oh, Joey. You don't have to give me a gift. The fact that you wanted to is all the Christmas that I ever need. Yeah, but I wanted so much to give you one. Don't worry about it, honey. You can give me a bigger gift at my birthday. <laughs> Aunt Nell. Yeah. Aunt Nell. The mistletoe. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I saw that. <laughs>